Hello, this is Joshua Maurer for Senior Experience Friday Night Reflection number three. And today I wanted to talk about the reading and discussion we had on the book of Jonah. Uh, there were several things that stuck out to me that uh, I'd like to talk about. First of all, it's right at the beginning of the reading when it says, when the word of the Lord came to, to Jonah, it says, uh, go at once to that great city Nineveh and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. And then it says that Jonah set out to flee from the presence of the Lord. And to me, that's really interesting because God gave him a specific commandment to go and cry against Nineveh. And it doesn't say at that moment that God wants to save them or, or is planning to save them. It simply says, go and cry against Nineveh for their great wickedness. And I think it's really interesting how after hearing a direct command from God, Jonah was so willing to flee from that and to kind of ignore that or at least not obey that at all and, and purposefully flee from that commandment to go to Nineveh. Um, I think often we tell ourselves, oh, if I had a direct commandment from God to do this or that, if he would just tell me specifically what to do, then I would have no issues and I would do it. I think a lot of us tell ourselves that. And um, for me too. And I think we see in this book that Jonah gets a direct commandment from God and he doesn't do it. And I think the reason is that he doesn't want Nineveh to be saved, which also speaks to his knowledge of the immense forgiveness and mercy of God, which is uh, a testament to what Jonah did know of who God was and yet still chose to ignore this command and to, to run from this command. Um, but also, this uh, connects with something later to me, uh, that when, when God saw that the city repented, it says when God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it, and that this was very displeasing to Jonah. And so kind of jumping from the beginning to the end here, where Jonah doesn't want to do it, he doesn't want to go, because he's afraid that God will forgive Nineveh and he doesn't want them forgiven. And then you jump to the end when he finally did repent in the belly of the whale. He, he has, says this prayer. He repents. He goes to Nineveh. And then this happens. He's like, well, see, they're exactly what I thought was going to happen. And now he's mad about it. And I think often we, uh, me specifically, uh, I can speak for, uh, we make judgments of what we think God should do to specific people groups and specific individuals or uh, groups, whether it be refugees or uh, certain religious groups or sexual identities that we may label as different groups. And we often think that God should bring judgment on these people, maybe even subconsciously, maybe even without even knowing it. And I think when we examine the Bible, when we examine what God has said to us, he has given us clear commands of how we should treat these people. And so I think, to me, kind of what stuck out was, as I was looking at how Jonah reacted to God's commands, it made me reflect on how I am responding to God's commands to love my neighbor, to love the poor and the destitute, to love the downtrodden, specifically. And to treat them in such a way that is anticipating God's forgiveness of them, that is anticipating his love for them, just as he has loved me and forgiven me. So that was uh, some thoughts that I had about the book of Jonah that we discussed. Um, that's what I have for tonight. Uh, thank you.